Hey YouTube, how you doing? I decided to do a video. It's been a while. Um, I haven't been on YouTube much. I'm just kind of been busy with life and busy trying to transition back into um, life in the real world after eight months of being in hospital and being in treatment. It's really hard. Um, Recovery isn't going that great for me so far. I'm struggling a lot with behaviors. Um, it's just, I don't know, I just, transitioning back is so much harder than I ever imagined. Temptation is there, and dealing with feelings that come up, and not having, but in treatment you have a therapist there 24 hours a day, 7 days a week to talk to, you, to figure emotions out, to deal with the temptation of, Food not being in the in the environment where you can just go get something is controlled. It's great. I don't have to worry about a fridge full of food and lonely time, so I've been the purge. It's just I don't know, it's just I'm totally struggling with having with just falling back into old behaviors like today I'm restricting. I've had coffee all day and it's the first time I've restricted since I've been home, and it's scary because I want to eat, but I'm afraid that I'll, if I start, I can't stop. And I'm really not sure what the underlying issues are right now that's going on, um, because I am binging and purging a lot more, more than I want to be, more than I, I don't want to be doing it at all, but. Lately, it's getting worse and worse, and I'm slipping back into old habits, and it's scary. And I'm trying to do everything right. I'm journaling. I'm I'm not even spending time alone in my apartment. I'm getting out every day. Like months, Sundays, I have church and Bible study all day. Um, Mondays are free to do whatever I want. A um, little bit of relax. Tuesday, I go out shopping and coffee or dinner or lunch. With a friend. Um, it's a great time. I love her. She's great. Um, Wednesdays I have a group for eating disorders recovery. The DBT um, base, which is great, so I'm getting therapy that way. Um, Thursdays I go, I drive an hour away to see my psychiatrist. And I don't know what she is. She's not a therapist, but she kind of like counts me and figures recovery out and how to help me emotionally and get in touch with the feelings that I need to work on. Um, Fridays are kind of like a free for free for option. No, Fridays I got a new thing. It's starting a new group called Recovery Group, and it's done at a church. It's a Christian based. Um, basically, it's a mix of Bible study and AA. So AA, they got AA steps. Recovery, I think there's eight of them, and they're doing each week. They're kind of going in depth with them, and then you do a group discussion. So it's like AA meeting for whatever addiction you have. It's it's broken up to men and women. I love it. They have, a, they have dinner before, so we have all a dinner together and talk and get to know each other, which is really good. So I'm really enjoying that. Um, Saturdays is another kind of free day, kind of shopping, grocery shopping, babysitting. Well, Thursday night I babysit for my nieces and nephews. And then Sundays again, so I'm busy every day. I clean the voluntary at the food bank, because that's where I'm shopping lately, which is fine, because I don't have the money to actually go and get proper food. So I'm trying to eat somewhat healthy and you know, it's really hard because in the I was losing weight in a controlled environment. I've had three meals a day in treatment, no snacks, and proper nutrition, fruit, veggies, perfect portion sizing, it was perfect. So but now it's like trying to live on a budget and not and make healthy meals. When you really can't afford too many fruit and vegetables, it's really hard. So that's one of my struggles is trying to eat healthy and keep my hopefully weight to go down because I gained a little bit when I came back. Um, I haven't weighed myself since I've been in treatment, since I got out of treatment, because I know that's just going to be a, like a total downward spiral if I know my weight and if I know I've gained whatever X amount of weight I've gained since being home. I'm going to want to lose it, and I'm going to turn back to the per even more purging and binging. Um, 
even more diet pills and diuretics and stuff like that that I'm staying away from for the most part. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of totally just kind of going with it. Um, life has been horrible. My bipolar is kind of acting up. I'm kind of hallucinating again, which they seem to think it's just situational stress and that they can't really do anything about it because med changes for me are complicated and confusing and not a good thing. So I'm just trying to just deal with it. Some days are better than others. Um, my mood is all over the place. I one minute I'm crying, then I'm excited, I'm happy, then I'm just is that heart depressed. It's crazy, but I'm dealing. I'm not doing horrible. Um Yeah, I don't know. It's just not the greatest time, but not horrible either, so I'm trying to be positive and focus on that I'm not completely relapsed yet. Or hopefully I won't. I'll stay kind of just flipping a little, just little slips every couple of days, every day almost. But it's not a full blown relapse yet. I'm still really trying to recover and journaling and trying to figure this out. It's a lot of work. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I could keep my nails done now because it makes me feel good and something for myself. I know it's more money than I should be spending, but it's something I do for myself. Um. I'm still smoking. I know it's bad and I'll probably get lectured for it, but right now I can't focus on eating disorder, bipolar, and quitting smoking. I just can't do it right now. Um, maybe when I get stable or when I'm in a slow, more solid recovery, maybe I can tackle that. But yeah, that's kind of one of my vices right now. Um, it's just life is going okay I just I just feel totally overwhelmed and I miss you guys I haven't got a lot of comments lately and hopefully you guys can support me or give me some advice or it's been nice to have some encouragement because I'm totally struggling and I feel alone right now because being going from a environment of 24 hours a day being people around me to living alone with no one else in the, in the two room apartment is really hard because I feel like I am totally alone, and I'm probably not alone in the recovery, but I feel like I have no one here to support me, because I still don't have a treatment team set up for when I left treatment. Um, it was all kind of scroogey because I was in the States, and now I'm in Canada. Um, so I don't have a therapist. Um, I haven't seen a nutritionist since I've been home. I have the group therapy once a week, and that's about it. I see my psychiatrist when I, once a month, so it's not like I have a solid team yet. So it's really hard to kind of figure all this out. I'm really hoping to get a therapist close to the same city I live in, hopefully in the next month or so, because I need someone to talk to to figure this out, because I'm not going to get a solid recovery unless I do. So. They're working on it, supposedly, so hopefully I'll get answers tomorrow. And that's it. I just want to update you guys, and you guys can support me or have any encouragement or advice. I'm well, oh, would love to hear it. So hopefully you have a good day, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.